we go. I think we got it. Hope it won't fall anyway. I got my uh, uh, camera here on a little tripod here that they gave me when I when I uh, bought the camera. So I don't know. It's kind of small, and I got it right on top of my DVD stand. But I think it should be all right. As long as it doesn't fall, I think it should be okay. Anyway, hey, what's up, everybody? Frank Slauson here. Once again, kind of going old school with the 4x3, only because of the fact that I'm doing, I figure, you know, my parents aren't here uh, for the time being anyway, because uh, as I said yesterday in yesterday's video, uh, that uh, mom, dad, well, dad had knee surgery, so mom stayed with him at Grand Forks, which is like two hours away from where I live right here, uh, or where our home is anyway, but uh, for the time being anyway, I got the house to myself, so it's time to party, huh? <laughs> I feel like throwing one of those weird science parties or whatever. You know, just invite everybody over and just having a good time, but no, I won't do that. But anyway, uh, yeah, so hopefully it's not too crooked, but it looks like it's crooked from here, but that could just be me. I don't know. Anyway, I figure this is the time, you know... Because I don't know when I'll have another chance to do this without being bothered by anybody. Uh, without having to worry about anybody looking or watching or hearing what I'm doing. So I figured today, finally anyway, uh, after not really making many videos so far this month or whatever, I wanted to do a complete look at what I've gotten. Some of the DVDs and Blu-rays that I've gotten over the last course of the month or so. Some things that I may have shown before, but I'm certain that it's things that I haven't shown yet. Uh, but I guess we'll just see. Anyway, so I want to start off. Uh, I don't know how well you can see over here. You probably can't see well over here. But I'm going to show some of the DVDs that I've gotten here. Uh, one of the things that I've been doing lately, uh, one of the big things that I've been uh, into lately is uh, TNA Wrestling. And not really anything currently. Because I haven't really, I don't really watch it on a weekly basis like I do Monday Night Raw. But uh, I've been a really big fan of of the classic TNA pay per views. I'm talking from 2004, the the very first two pay per views that they had, uh, which would be Victory Road and Turning Point. But also like from like 2004 all the way to probably 2010, I'd say, you know, pre Hogan, after Hogan, during Hogan, whatever. I haven't really watched, I've watched a few 2011 pay-per-views, but they're not nearly as good as as before Hulk Hogan arrived. I think uh, uh, the TNA from uh, before Hogan arrived has been, was a lot better before the, before Hogan and Bischoff arrived. Even though I'm, big, I'm a big Hulk Hogan fan when he was with the NWO and stuff like that. Uh, not really a big fan of Red and Yellow Hogan or whatever. But anyway, anyway, so I've been collecting... Just about every pay-per-view, yeah, I know, it's kind of weird. Why would I want to do that, right? Well, well, this is one of the first ones that I've gotten out of the many that I have received. And these are the complete TNA Wrestling Anthology. And this is like the, the first three pay-per-views, except I changed it a little bit because the lockdown was in here uh, from 2005. You can see that, or that you can see on the picture anyway. But I changed it, and I, I put... Uh, Fire Resolution 2005 on here. And the thing about it with these TNA DVDs, they're just so much fun to watch. And it's just, you know, now, I mean, I, I, and I didn't spend a whole lot of money on all this stuff. I, you know, probably spent less than $100 total because I found most of these not only from TNA Shop or ShopTNA.com, but I also found majority of these uh, basically just on, you know, Amazon.com for real cheap. For sometimes uh, for less than a penny, um, mostly because the DVDs are you know they kind of formatted all the same. They're they're all four by three. Uh, a couple widescreen ones I have, but that's about it. Uh, other than that, you know, it's mostly classic TNA. You know, from 2004 all the way to 2009, 2010, somewhere around there is what I got. And I'm pretty happy with everything I have, I and mean, I got. I tell you, since you can't see, and I'm not going to show you one by one, but I got, I can pretty much say, I'll name off some of the ones, or the ones that I got so far. From 2004, I got uh, Victory Road and Turning Point. From 2005, I have Final Resolution, Against All Odds, Destination X, 
Lockdown, uh, Hard Justice, Sacrifice, Bound for Glory, Genesis, and Turning Point. From 2006, I have Final Resolution, Lockdown, Slammiversary, Bound for Glory, uh, Genesis is Coming. That's the one when Kurt Angle and Samoa Joe uh, made their, you know, when they had their very first match. I think it's the one where Kurt Angle defeated uh, Samoa Joe and broke his undefeated streak. But anyway, I'm waiting for that one to arrive. Uh, so I really got Turning Point 2006. And then for 2007, I have just about everyone, but not just everyone, but let's see. I got Final Resolution, Destination X, Lockdown, Slammiversary, No Surrender, Bound of Glory. Genesis and Turning Point. And for 2008, I have pretty much all of them besides one. And that's the first Final Resolution of 2008. See, in 2008, they decided to make Final Resolution kind of the, the uh, January pay per view instead of the December pay per view. So what they did was kind of like how they used to do it, you know, in your house style. They, uh, they had a, a Final Resolution in January of 2008. And then in December of 2008, they also had a Final Resolution, which they didn't call Final Resolution 2, they just called it Final Resolution. So, yeah, it's kind of weird how they how they would do that. But anyway, so I have just about every pay-per-view that they've come out with. I bet you, uh, really, I'm about halfway, maybe over half. I mean, I got just about everyone from 2008 and 2005, just about everyone from 2005. Uh, 2008 and 2009, just about, besides Bound for Glory 5, uh, and then a couple from 2010, but, you know, I think majority, uh, I think it's kind of neat to have, you know, like a little collection like that, you know, to have, you know, something that I like, see, I, I'm still a big WWE fan, but the thing is with WWE, when they produce their DVDs, most of the time, it's with the same stuff. When they have a compilation, it's with the same matches that we've seen before already. You know, I can only watch Hogan vs. Andre so much. I can only watch Bret Hart vs. Shawn Michaels from yeah, or WrestleMania 12 so much. I can only watch Shawn Michaels vs. Razor Ramon and a ladder match from WrestleMania 10 so much. You know, they have a wide variety, a big library of stuff that they could show. And they do sometimes. Sometimes they, they, they uh, do a good job of kind of let you know what's new, or like the King of the Ring one I like to get, because that'd be kind of neat to see, and then the best of Stone Cold, even though I already have a Stone Cold DVD, but uh, pretty much I'm just happy that I have what I have, and eventually I will own just about every TNA pay-per-view, because I like TNA, because, uh, especially the classic, because there's so much, I mean, they allow blood, the wrestling is high-flying, uh, extreme, out of this world, there's not much talking. There's just lots of action. They focus on wrestling. I'm not trying to mock WWE, but lately WWE's kind of been, you know, kind of weird, you know, lately. I'm happy that the Royal Rumble's coming because kind of, I like the Royal Rumble. It gets you ready for WrestleMania and all that. But Anyway, so let's see. What else have I gotten? Because I know I've gotten a lot of other stuff. I'll show you a better picture here of the Three Stooges thing, Volume 6 that I got. I think the light was blurred out yesterday. Kind of, or whatever. And this is what I got from Best Buy. I watched that Game of Thrones that I got yesterday on Blu-ray, and, you know, it's, it's not bad. It's kind of the, has that Renaissance feeling, feel, or whatever. I also have, well, let's see, I don't want to make anything move there. I also have the first two uh, Deuce Bigelow movies that are on the side here, but I don't want to, I want this in the fall, so I'm not going to show you, but it's Deuce Bigelow, Male Gigolo, and Deuce Bigelow, European Gigolo. And then with that also I have Rollerball. Do you remember Rollerball at all? A little rhyme there. <laughs> anyway, Rollerball, the reason why it's uh, one of those films that I, I am happy that I actually own now is because I remember watching it, and I think I remember this is one of the only rare films where Shane McMahon and Paul Heyman, I believe, is like the announcer or something like that, but Shane McMahon... Makes a quick little appearance. I don't know if he's like a manager or something, but I know the WWE really, uh, or at the time it was the WWF when the movie, this movie was uh, coming out, they really uh, promoted the hell out of it because of Paul Heyman and Shane McMahon being a part of it. But it's a really good film, Rollerball, you know, based on roller derby and roller skating and everything else. 
Let's uh, see, I'm going to kind of just go through here some of the stuff that I have. Like I said, I don't know if I've shown you this or not before, but got the Walk the Line uh, 2 disc special edition. You can see the back here, uh, uh, all the stuff that it includes. I have yet to watch this, but I but I will here eventually uh, because of the fact that my dad said it. Well, my dad owns this copy of the movie too. Well, not this copy, but just the one disc. Uh, but this one has like everything, and from what I heard about it, it's a pretty good film. You know, but whether you see it on DVD or Blu-ray or whatever, it's still a hell of a film. So I'm pretty uh, pretty psyched about to to watch this eventually uh, when I get in that Johnny Cash feeling, I guess more or less. The next one I have, I don't know if I showed you this already, but I'll show you now. No contest. It's just uh, it's one of those movies from the '90s that. Nobody ever heard of, you know, nobody ever, I don't remember, you know, a lot of people don't remember, but it's one of the ones where you see Andrew Dice Clay, not as a comedian, but as a bad guy, I guess. And Robert Dobby actually as a good guy. You know, how weird is that? Normally Robert Dobby is a bad guy, but this time he's a good guy. <laughs> but, oh well, whatever. Uh, let's see, I want to see... <laughs> I know there's a lot to show. Let's see here. Okay, I'm going to show you some of the Blu-rays here. Starting with probably the best one, best Blu-ray that I probably have gotten. Actually, I'm really impressed with the packaging. And impressed with the price of how much it cost when I got this. Now, this is the Back to the Future Blu-ray that I mentioned on Facebook. And... The one reason why I'm very impressed with the packaging, it's not just because of what it looks like here, or what it looks like here, or what it looks like here, okay? What really gets me excited, what really, you know, turns me on, no pun intended, uh, is this. Look at this. I don't know how well you can see it, but look at this. The fact that they actually used the original covers from all, or the original posters or whatever, from the original covers for the Back to the Future sequel, or series. From part 1, 2, and 3. 2 is like my favorite of all time, but isn't that cool? If I could take a disc out, I'd show you, but you can, if you've seen these, you've seen these pictures before. But I think how cool is that? That really makes me feel like they, they really cared a lot about putting this together because of the fact that they use the original covers because they didn't just use something else. See, I wasn't impressed with the Back to the Future DVD, the first box set that came out, because in a way, even though the the disc were had the original covers and everything, which was fine, but I just didn't really like the blue background, and I just thought, uh, I just looked different. I mean, it was cool at the time, and I was happy to own that version for the time being, but like the DVDs, the single DVDs that came out a few years later. I liked them because they were the original covers. They used the original cases to promote the movies. And and that's what they're doing now here. See, I didn't know this before I opened the, the Blu-ray up. You know? But anyway, so that's what I like about it. Uh, it's probably one of the best uh, features that I've, you know, will definitely love to own no matter whatever. You know, no other DVD or Blu-ray that I ever get will ever compare to this because... You know, I love Back to the Future, and I love The Goonies, too, and I love a lot of other films, but you know, I love Back to the Future. That's kind of something personal, more or less, you know? And the people who know, who love Back to the Future, just like I, like, just like I do, probably know what I'm talking about. Uh, but it's pretty cool, and it only cost me $23. I was trying to find a version that didn't have digital copy, because I don't, I don't really care about digital copy. You know, I, I really don't. I mean, because how many copies of a movie do you need, you know? I just want one copy, and that would be either a DVD or a Blu-ray. If digital is the only way they can make the movie happen, okay. You know, a digital copy. But if they, if there's, you know, I don't know. I, I just think they're doing too much with digital co uh, copy, and they're promoting too much uh, out of 3D. They turn everything to 3D, and I think I'm getting a little sick of that. I love 3D, but not everything can be in 3D, you know. And they freaking got the Miley Cyrus concert, the Hannah Montana concert in 3D. I mean, what the hell? You know? Why would you want to watch that in 3D? Let alone, why would you want to watch that at all? You know? The other ones that I got, 
I'm going to show you here. I got Ghostbusters on Blu ray. I think a lot of the other people have seen this before. Not with me, but other people that have on this. Of course, I love Ghostbusters. I just got uh, that, that video game for PS3 for my brother. And I don't know if he's playing it yet or not, but he, I'm sure he'll, he'll enjoy what he does. So I know I did. And then I got Grease on Blu ray. You know, I never w was a, a true, real fan of Grease until I really, you know, I don't know, until it finally came out on DVD and, and Blu ray because, I don't know, it just looks so much better. You know, I really, really am pretty impressed with uh, with it, you know. Okay, uh, let's see, what else did I show you that I got here? I think I'll show you these. And this one here, too, I'll show you. Okay, the other ones that I got on Blu ray. That I can show you are uh, Beetlejuice. Yes, sir, Beetlejuice. Good old Michael Keaton. Who doesn't love that? The Bank Job, a movie that my dad and I watched. They got a Blu ray. It's pretty good. It's supposed to be based on a true story. And this one right here, another one that is kind of a cloak that I have that's kind of personal with me, kind of. Because I love how, you know, I got this for only $10, but I love how uh, they pretty much. Did a pretty good job with the packaging. This is a, a Blu-ray book is what they call it. Why do they call it that? Because, well, it looks like a book. And it feels like a book. And it sounds like a book. Anyway, I just like, you know, I had the box set. And I like that, the DVD box set. But you know what? This is this is the only Batman that I really care for. I could care less about the new ones. I like Batman with Michael Keaton from 1989. That's probably one of the best Batmans. I don't care what any of you guys say. You guys can say that your Batman, you know, the other ones are better. But you know what? Batman with Michael Keaton will, will always be. If Michael Keaton would have played Batman in every Batman movie that was in the 90s, that shot in the 90s, you know, I'd probably like all those too. Why did I like Batman Returns? Eh, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I just... It's okay, you know, but but then you got the nice little Blu-ray here, and it's nice in color and everything, you know. And it's you know you open it up and there's features and there's, you know there's comic books and stuff and you know stuff like that, daily daddles and whatever. But I just like the packaging, and for ten dollars, when it was normally like twenty or so when it first came out, it's not bad, not bad at all. So. I don't know what else I can show you that I haven't shown you already. I think I'm trying to think here. I'm trying to think. What else could I show you? Holy moly! Uh, I think that's pretty much it for right now. Yeah, I think that's about all that I can show you right now because that's all that I can remember that I've gotten lately. I think I've shown everything else. So anyway, you get kind of an idea, anyway, of what I've gotten. And uh, I'm pretty proud of it, you know. I, I eventually want to get the Terminator set on Blu-ray. Some of the scarier movies, one or two. Uh, and then what else? Uh, uh, Robocop. And I have it on DVD, but I'd rather have a Blu-ray. That I can sell my, either sell my uh, Terminator DVDs and my Robocops. And then, make, or, or give them for free. But we'll see. Uh, I want to say thanks for everybody who watched yesterday's video. I'm definitely going to be doing the documentary no matter what. Uh, that's what that's what the plan is anyway. Uh, a buddy of mine that I work with will be possibly coming with me. So I won't be alone. But uh, it should be fun. I mean, I look forward to this. This is what's going to make this year very special to me. Because last year kind of sucked, you know. Pretty much the summertime, what it would really matter most. Because I was broke, I was unemployed, you know, I didn't have any money, and, you know, was literally begging people on YouTube for money, you know? And that's kind of embarrassing, you know, when you gotta stoop to that level. And it's not like I wanted to do that, it just, you know, just ha it just happened, you know? It just, just, uh, things happen sometimes, I guess that's what uh, the type of hand fate uh, deal, dealt you, I guess, deals with you or something. Anyway, that's just kind of what uh, I was dealt with anyway. But it looks like everything's going to be okay. And 
And I like where I work, and I'm proud to, to say that I work at the American. You know, it's a good job. Uh, there's a good bunch of people that I work with, and that are literally are my friends. You know, not just coworkers. You know, they're people that I respect, and and same with the people in charge. You know, I respect them too, uh, because they they all make the job worth worth doing, and and it makes me it makes me happy to be a part of it anyway. So. I see longevity with this job, and, you know, that's just how it's going to be. So, <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed my little DVD and Blu-ray update, and if there's anything you want, you know, uh, anything you want to know about the stuff that I got or where I got it from, I'll let you know. And, uh, alright, we'll see you later. Bye-bye.